CVA Cascade 300 PRC, six inch target. All right, guys, it is getting dark. I got to the range a little late, and uh, I've got a few shots in, kind of got lined up, but it is raining pretty good outside. Uh, I can honestly say I can't hardly see the dock right now. It is 557. Uh, we are shooting the Hornady ELDX um, in the 300 PRC and the CVA Cascade. Uh, I did get the Stinger rest. Um, See what we can do. I don't know if I can see the dot well enough or not. But if we can get it on paper uh, and get it close, it'll be good enough to do the next test that I really want to do. Uh, I do know it's close enough to hit a six-inch steel gong at 200 yards. Um, let's see what we can do. Go to the upper, upper left. I hope everybody's been doing good. I, uh, I'm i glad to get at least a few shots in for dark. It's been a really long week. Last two weeks, I've put in a lot of hours. Praise the Lord, we stayed safe. No real big issues, no real big problems. There's lots of waterline breaks. Thank the Lord we're all good. Okay, so that looks like it's a touch left of center. I'm pretty much just trying to keep the crosshairs as close to center of the target as I can. Um, maybe I can come back and get this thing a little closer. Um, I know I shot a grouper a few minutes ago, getting it tuned in, and it was... Uh, Two holes looked like they were about touching, and I had to, had the bipod on there, and I kind of uh, yanked the trigger just a little bit somehow or another, um, and the bipod hit the way it did. Looks like it kicked one bullet out. I, I know this is going to do a whole lot better than that, but um, for the upcoming test that I want to do, um, I'm okay with it just being within an inch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'll figure out. I have noticed one thing about this magazine on this gun. Um, I don't like how easy it is to take the bottom off. Um, I can't say I want to glue it, but I don't like how the, the, the magazines and these CBA cascades actually come apart so easily. I have to think on that a little bit. But so far, um, I really like it. It feels really good. Um, I believe it's going to shoot pretty good. I don't like that. That's the first issues I've had with it cycling. Um, find out more as you shoot more with it. I can honestly say I can't even really tell what kind of group it is. I really don't know. It's pretty cool outside. I may go ahead and try to squeeze in uh, the three Hornady CX bullets. There are... Can I squeeze these in real quick? These are the Hornady Outfitter. Um, at least make sure that they're close. See how they feed on it. Um, 
but yeah, this this magazine actually comes apart really easy. I, I can't really say I do that. I like that very well. But um, we'll see. I am rushing just a little bit. I know that I am because I know that I uh, running out of light. But uh, like I say, my biggest question right now is more about getting it close enough to be able to take the the test shooting through the jugs, and I want to see what these bullets look like. Um, let's go top right. One thing about the Stinger, I like it in a lot of ways as far as being able to feel it in my shoulder and such. I really did like the adjustment about Birchwood Alpha. Let's see at least how close they are, all right? Talk to you at the house. Hey everybody back at the house um, it is amazing what filters on the cameras and uh, the editing software can do to make it a little bit brighter um, it really was a whole lot darker than it looked like it was but I made it um, I really like the CVA Cascade uh, the 300 PRC uh, it's got some kick behind it but uh, if you're not going to shoot you know range day with it you're going to be fine muzzle brake i did add to it it did help uh, the scope that i wanted to put on that rifle was actually made for a, uh, a short action rifle so it wouldn't work uh, so i slapped on uh, one of the buckmaster i think it's a uh, 4 to 12 by 44 millimeter i think is what it is it's got the draw practicals out to reticles out to 500 yards um done pretty good um the only issue so far that i have found with that gun on the one that i have is the magazine the bottom plate does come off so that you can uh, take it apart clean it whatever but it comes apart a whole lot easier than i thought it would so um um Thinking about how I might mitigate that um, or what I might do as far as buying a different magazine for it or something. Other than that, um, I really like the gun. Um, so let's show you before we get too crazy along, um, because this video is probably going to be long enough as it is, uh, what the gun did with what little bit of time that I had. So let's move up here. So three holes here was um, siding it in I moved up here to the center group I had two touching but the third one I actually moved I still had um, the uh, bipod on it and somehow or another um, it kinda got my way so I moved it out of the way shot a second group I did not measure it but it's from center to center it's pushing one inch not too terribly concerned about that considering the time of day um, that I had through it and then right here the the first groups were the ELDX um, but this was the Hornady custom loads um, so four holes one here I'm not so sure that the fifth one wasn't through there I actually went ahead and took a chance and tried to shoot um, an extra group with the Hornady Custom Loads, and that's what that Hornady Custom Load did with that CVA Cascade. If you can tell it, um, uh, yeah, that's, I'm not sure what that bullet was from, but uh, anyways, so 
that is what the CVA Cascade did um, for me, what little bit of time that I've got. Um, yeah, I'd like to do a little bit more testing with it. Uh, wasn't as bad to shoot on the shoulder as I, or bad to shoot on my shoulder as what I had anticipated it to be. Um, so yeah, I'd like to have some more time during the day to see how, how tight of groups we can get out of that gun. But so far it's way, way well within uh, the standards for deer hunting. Um, and yes, that was a, a two, 200 yard shot on a six inch steel gong and uh, wasn't wasn't that hard for that gun. I didn't have to allow maybe inch and a half for that gun. Anyways, um, hopefully soon we'll have some more videos. I'm off call. Praise the Lord, it went great. Um, we had a lot of overtime, but we worked hard, we persevered, and God blessed us and kept us safe. So uh, I hopefully can get some more content out for you guys. Thank you for being a part of this channel. Um, I have uh, like 180 subscribers, and that is about 179 more than I anticipated on having. So thank you for letting me know that I'm doing something right, but more importantly, that you don't mind hearing a little bit about the Lord, because He's everything to me. Until next time, remember, love God, love your family, love your country. Oh, let's keep loving the outdoors. Have a great day.